Hi, and welcome to my Introduction to Expression Web video tutorial series. In this series of videos, we have three major learning goals. The first is going to be to teach you the basics of using Microsoft Expression Web to create a website for a small business or organization, or possibly for a personal project or site. The second learning goal is going to be to give you a basic understanding of HTML and CSS, the two languages that form sort of the basis and backbone of most sites that are on the internet right now. And the third goal is to give you an overview of the, web, the, the process of actually creating a website so that you're able to take the skills that you learn in this video and apply them to different projects that you're actually going to be working on. Now, the first several videos in this series are going to be just covering the basic mechanics of using Microsoft Expression Web. We'll talk about how to create sites, how to manage those sites, how to add pages to your site, and how to add content onto those pages. We're going to talk about switching between the different views and using some of the different visual aids that are inside of Microsoft Expression Web. And finally, we're going to talk about how to preview your items inside of browsers and add different browsers to Expression Web. And then starting on about video 5, we're going to begin working on an actual project website because the best way to learn about web design is to actually do it. And you can see here the fictitious website that we're going to actually build as part of this series. And again, by the end of this series, you will have successfully created this website. And you can see here, there's a number of pages that are going to be in our website. And it's a fairly simple but clean and professional looking site. It's going to have several features inside of it, such as this fading banner that cycles through the different images. We're going to see how to do that, as well as how to create an image gallery with a light box effect. And you can see here a small image gallery just has three images inside of it. When I click on one of the images, you can see the light box effect where the back grays out and the uh, full size version of the image appears. So we'll see how to do this gallery. And finally, we're going to see how to set up a simple form on a web page that you can use to communicate with the visitors to your site. And again, by the time you get finished watching these videos, you should have not only this website created, but a good understanding of all the different um, elements that it took to create this website. Now, after you're finished working on this, um, working through the videos in this series, you can go ahead and check out the channel, and there will be several other Expression Web project series that are going to be posted in the coming months that will show you how to use the skills you've learned in this series and apply them in different ways to different sites in addition to just giving you more practice in creating different websites and again practice here is the key another key to getting through this series is going to be patience you're going to need to go through each step in the videos and possibly watch several of the videos several times in order to um, understand and retain all of the information. Now, one thing that can help you is downloading the framework and the completed projects that we're going to be working on in this series. And if you go to my website, and you can see a link in the description for this video to my website, you can download the framework as well as this completed website and all the resources that went to building this website um, there. If you choose not to download the framework, you'll still be able to go through all the videos. You'll just have to type in all the code and make your own images and download your own plugins. So the framework is more of a time saver than something you absolutely need. But it can be really valuable in working through this um, series of videos. If for no other reason, if you get stuck at some point and you can't see where a problem is in your version of the site, you, if you have the completed version of the website, you can compare the two side by side and see where the differences are in your code from the completed working version of the site. 
So that can be very useful. But again, the framework and the completed project is entirely optional. And I'll show you all the code as we go through this and we'll tell you the dimensions of the images that you need to um, create or um, um, get in order to um, finish all of these, as well as um, the names of some of the different plugins that you can go and uh, download for this um, for this series. So this is where we're going to be headed in this series of videos. And again, the first several videos are just going to be an overview of using Microsoft Expression Web. In the next video, we're going to see how to create a brand new site inside of Expression Web how to manage sites, how to create pages in those sites, and how to navigate through the main Expression Web series. After that, we're going to learn how to go ahead and add content to the pages that we create. Text, images, we'll see how to create hyperlinks between pages and other websites, as well as set up small tables of information. We'll see the difference between code view and design view. Um, inside of Expression Web and how to manage sites and folders and different kinds of resources. And then again we're going to begin the process of actually creating um, this sample project website. So I'll see you in the next video.